GTV. Today I will be showing you the different start and stop options of a variable frequency drive. Depending on the application needs, drives can be programmed for a variety of start and stop methods. Since every drive has different parameters, it is best to have working knowledge and to read through the instruction manual prior to programming a drive. I will use the Commander SK with an AC motor to demonstrate different ways of starting and stopping. My first method is controlled ramp acceleration. This allows me to set a specific time for the motor to ramp up to my set speed. If I set my acceleration time to one minute, the motor will gradually build up speed accordingly. With this long of a start time, I can see the motor slowly ramp up. If I set the acceleration to two seconds and run the motor again, I can see a difference in how fast the motor starts. In cases with high inertia loads, I may need a torque boost. This will allow for the motor to apply greater torque at the beginning of the acceleration, allowing for initial movement of the application and then resuming a normal starting operation. This can be beneficial when a heavier load might be too taxing on the motor at the start. Another useful parameter often found on VFDs is the start on the fly or catch a spinning motor. This should be used when you want to start the motor when the motor is already in motion. A drive is typically set to start at zero RPM. Normally, if a motor is decelerating and needs to be restarted, the drive will ramp down to zero and then restart. The start on the fly function allows for the motor to start from the current deceleration speed and then ramp back up to the desired speed. An example of this action would be a fan, where it is spinning slightly enough that it is in motion on startup. Instead of the fan stopping and then starting, it builds up speed from the current starting point, preventing abrupt pauses and high current loads. On deceleration and stopping, the drive can control the ramp speed for deceleration, like it did on startup. The deceleration rate can be set to long lengths for a controlled stop or an abrupt stop. Abrupt stops can tax the motor but are sometimes required by the application or needs of production. One solution to abrupt stops is the S-ramp function. The S-ramp reduces the speed of the motor dramatically until it is at a safe speed for a smoother brake. A conveyor belt in a glass bottling plant may need an S-ramp function. If an abrupt stop happens, the glasses can fall and break, but the S-ramp works against inertia to ensure that the glass does not fall over while having a faster break. The next method of stopping is coasting. This is less taxing on the motor. Instead of the drive controlling the deceleration, the motor naturally stops spinning with the ramp time not controlled. The last method of stopping is the DC injection braking. This sends a DC pulse into the motor which resists motion for a short period of time. This is ideal for applications where there is a need for the motor to be held in place for a short period of time. Physical manipulation of the application is more difficult and unintentional movement of the motor is prevented. For more information on drives, check out our other videos on GTV. Motors and drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.